Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here. Today I'm going to talk about why rechargeable batteries wear out. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Also consider clicking on the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos and new live streams as they happen. Alright, so you probably have lots of devices, including cell phones and who knows what else, that are using rechargeable batteries in them. And after a while, those batteries wear out. Now, you don't always notice this in your cell phone because the average life of a rechargeable battery is about three years or so if you use the uh, item a lot. And most cell phones are replaced after 18 months, which is a year and a half. So by the time you replace your cell phone, the battery is still in good shape. You may have noticed, however, in your laptop, the battery wears out maybe around after three years. Sometimes it lasts a little longer. But as it gets towards that three years, it seems to hold less and less of a charge. Most people keep a laptop for three to five years. And so as you get towards the end of that time, uh, the battery is starting to hold less and less of a charge. There's a reason for this. The way a battery creates electricity is through a chemical reaction. And when we recharge the battery, we're actually reversing that chemical reaction to kind of make the battery new again. You can kind of look at it like the you can kind of look at it like the old fairy tale about Cinderella where they put the ashes and the seeds together and made her separate those and she wasn't going to have enough time to do it. Well, birds came and they separated the seeds from the ashes for her. So when a battery is like fully charged, it's like the ashes and the seeds are separate. When the battery is fully depleted, it's like those ashes and seeds are together. And when we recharge it, it's like birds have come and taken the seeds and put them in a separate pile from the ashes. So that's basically what is happening. So over time, we keep on separating the seeds from the ashes or reversing that chemical reaction with inside the battery, but it becomes less and less efficient over time. Because of the way a chemical reaction works in a battery, each time we recharge it and reverse the chemical reaction, it's not totally perfect. So in other words, if you look at our seeds and our ashes, which are being mixed together and then separated, say the birds are separating the seeds from the ashes, well, each time the ashes are combined with the seeds, some soot from the ashes get on the seeds, so the seeds aren't perfect anymore. So you can kind of look at it like that. So that over time, the battery becomes less efficient because it's not in a totally perfect state because each time the reaction happens and it's reversed, it doesn't really go totally back to the kind of pristine condition it was when it was created. So it degrades, and even though the battery may be holding somewhat of a charge, uh, it's weaker, and eventually that charge will no longer run your device or it won't run it as long. So that's why a rechargeable battery wears out. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, Enjoy technology.